Alrighty fam, welcome back to another video, so well overdue video, so I do apologise, I haven't had a chance to do a final boss run yet for you all. Uh, honestly, it's been a while since I've done this boss, I wanted to retry out a few different teams, um, and I didn't really get the chance, I've been away, and then I've been dealing with an apartment flood, and it's just been an absolute show to be completely honest with you all so um we're gonna get stuck into it anyway um and i want to show you guys now a bit of a disclaimer um i'm going to show you a couple of teams the unknown team as well as uh the human team now i can only really make the human team work i'll be entirely honest with you guys um i don't have a kidna uh i'm sitting at about 8.7 mil box cc i think it is so a quick look 8.7 mil so in terms of my like collabs I've only started pulling recently on Collab, so I don't have a Kidna, so she's pretty key in terms of that team. Uh, but I do have Sheltier, so I've been using Sheltier. But I can't make it work, but I can make the human team work. So I'll explain what I mean. I can never get everything perfect. I'm at 5k points and top 8% for Asia, so I'm happy with that. Um, but this is not going to be one of those 14 mil box CC guy, uh, 14 mil box CC YouTubers who have got 6-6 six, six Echidna and all the perfect gear and stuff like that. I, I just don't have that and I can't do that. So I'll show you a couple of different teams and I'll show you the strategies behind it and why you want to do it that way. Um, and then I'll show you the human team as well. So I'm not sure how long this video is going to be, but again, do not expect me to to win or to beat this boss with this. And if I do do it, it'll be the first time so you guys will see it for, for yourselves. So, first things first. I've got Freya with Holy Relic. Echidna is the one you want to use. Uh, the card set I'm using is the attack card set, but I'm actually thinking I might see if I can put a increased HP relay set. Let's increase it to no, I don't want that one. Okay, so I'm not going to be debuffed really in this fight, so this is not going to help me, so I'm going to leave it on the one I've currently got. Um, but the idea is basically I want to, I just need to survive. So Sheltier is my damage, Sheltier? Yeah, Sheltier is my damage dealer. I've got Ram and Nanashi with Holy Relic for basic stats, and then I've got Freya for additional stats. Now again, Echidna is better choice here because he also has, she also then has type advantage, but I've only got Freya, and he gets pummeled, so I'm giving him Tamiyo Link. Uh, you also want to have HP defense on everyone, so I'm actually going to swap this around so that everyone has got HP defense. I'm just going to steal random peoples because I don't really run HP defense on Freya or on Sheltia, so I'm just going to take... Um, these ones give them HP defense and then I've also got Rams on HP defense so is the Nashi and so are all the links as well right uh, actually chip and Sariel. now if you've got a Kidna you want to you want to make sure that you use uh, Tamiya link on Sheltier because she's the one with type disadvantage but my uh, my Freya just gets absolutely punished if I don't have my uh, my Tamiya so on her on him so this is going to be the team we're going to be run. HP food to try and increase it. You want to have remove stances twice, inflict rupture damage on enemy, and inflict a lot of damage in a single, as well as have all heroes more than 70% HP. And this is how you want to do it. So this is a structure you're going to get for maximum points, right? Now again, I can't actually do this. So I'm going to show you to the best of my ability how you kind of want to run through it, but I can never finish the last part. So the gimmicks are uh, that the two side pieces uh, will always have a fixed damage. So on this, on the first phase, it's for one turn. Um, it'll be fixed to one, and she will take a heck of a lot less damage until you kill the two side pieces, right? So what you want to do is wait for this to disappear, kill them, and then you'll be able to kill um, Margaret. She also has a full heal if you drop her below 50% without killing her, uh, and she removes debuffs after every turn. So all I'm going to do here is I'm actually just going to... Uh, yeet away a couple of these cards. So I'm going to do this as well. This will help with my rupture damage. Now, they don't actually need to have a buff in order for you to just use the rupture damage. So I can just use it. And as you can see, I'm doing no damage at the moment, right? So there goes all my buffs, which is awesome. So that's what you love. Uh, and then what I'm going to do here now, so their damage cap has disappeared. So I'm going to do damage with this um, and then hopefully I'm going to get a rage here that also depends on how strong a damage they do okay I'm alright so there's my berserk so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use I'm actually going to go I'm going to, I'm going to I'm a little bit concerned I'm going to do too much damage so if I do you guys will see how much damage I do um, 
And then I'm going to finish with... This might be too much. This will kill the side pieces. Perfect. And then I don't really want to drop him below here. Oh, not even close. Now this should hopefully kill. Okay, no. So she, she full healed. I did more than 400k damage. But I should have had a silver single target there. Right? Um, so now I'm kind of screwed. If I'm honest with you. Ideally you want a silver single target there. Because uh, she's also going to bring back the other guys. And this might actually kill me. Very close. So this is the thing. This is why you need that. Uh, so what I'm going to do here. So I actually have... Um, now I have my stance cancels, which is really good for the next phase. Um, but this is so heavily RNG with this team, and I just, I don't really find it works, to be honest. Like, just for me, it's way too RNG heavy in terms of getting a decent card set for Sheltier. As you can see, they're back. I'm going to die probably on Sheltier, and I don't have any more of her cards. Um, so that's kind of the combo you want, but that's literally the exact strat you want to follow. See, now I'm going to die. There we go, right? So I'll probably get back to a point where I can show you guys that. Um, so I'll cut and edit, and then I'll show you guys what that should look like for a finishing blow. And then we'll jump into the next phase on how to use the unknown team. But as you can see, it just doesn't work for me. So give me one sec, fam, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back, and this time I have a level two. <laughs> so that's a 250%, that's a 150%. So I should be able to should do plenty enough to kill. So first we're going to get rid of that. I'm actually going to throw this out just to hopefully do a bit of extra damage. Then I've got already got a stun and then I've got another one for stun. And then I'm going to level two single target. And this should clear this first first phase for me. And it should heal everyone up. The main thing. Well, because you have Shaltier's Relic. But let's see. Surely. There we go. So there's the extra damage, there's the full heal, and there's the kill. So it's super RNG based for me at least. You need to make sure she gets a level 2. Um, and here, now these guys actually have a level... Well, sorry, a 2 turn fixed damage. So it's the same process again. You need to make sure you kill these guys, and then you can do damage. And you kind of want to follow a similar process before. You want to wait and bait out the stances, right? So that's the main thing, so you get the additional points. You want to inflict some more rupture damage and then you also want to um basically use this card with the thing to finish off and get a full heal so with this i'm actually just going to do just kind of throw these cards away um so again no damage until we kill the two side side pieces um so, like I said, it's just a survivability piece. You'll pretty much, you'll probably lose your, um, lose our buffs again here, I think. There's one of the, one, I think it's the left one that takes away the buffs. Let's see. So again, time your link on him to heal up. So the damage is fine. There you go, there's all my buffs cancelled. So this is the problem, is getting Sheltier to a point where she gets her HP related stats to a good spot is hard because this guy just continuously cancels buffs which I find really frustrating and it's super RNG based uh, so what I'm going to do here is again just throw away these cards and I'm actually going to do this so now I have two stance cancel cards ready to go and a AoE rupture card to get rid of these two side guys so this is going to be the the fun part is there you go okay cool so I got two And these guys come back every four turns, and he stances every two turns. So basically, you need to time it perfectly. So there you go, there's the stance cancel. So ideally, I want to kill this guy. This guy's annoying. Okay, so we're going to stance cancel. Uh, and then we're going to get rid of the side guys. And then... I'm actually going to infect. Now again, this is the part where I'd like, I never really get past this part, right? Because... I just can't get the timing right. There goes both the side guys, and this will actually do more damage now. Because they're gone. But I won't do much, because I don't have enrage. There you go, didn't even crit. So... I don't really want to have ult, which is not ideal. Now, actually, I might just be honest, I might just go for the kill here. Um, but this won't actually work. I'm just going to try. And then I'm going to... Throw, 
throw that away. So ideally you want to wait for the stances, right? For the additional points. Yeah, because I'm not getting the the stat boosts. So I would have probably killed if I had had the enrage there. And now the side guys are going to come back and he's going to take really little damage. Right? And I lose my ult, which is fine for this. I don't want to really keep my ult. Um, so there's the cancel again, so I'll be able to cancel this. But I still need to wait until I can get rid of those side guys again. So there's my Berserk, which is actually really nice. But I don't think it's going to matter. So we're going to cancel that stance. This might actually even kill, to be entirely honest with you guys. Um, which actually would be perfect. And then I'm going to try and finish off, because I do have Berserk here. So we're going to do it this way. And we're going to do this. Might actually be able to finish her off here. I think we're actually going to beat it for the first time with this unknown team. Yeah, I've never done that before. <laughs> never done that before. Let's see how many points we get. I don't know at all of it. That is... That is the highest score by far. I don't know if you guys saw the other points. It was like 4,900. So look, you can definitely make this team work as evidently pointed out. Uh, there's a bit of RNG involved. That's insane. Um, and that's that's how you do the unknown high points team. Um, so we're actually going to jump in now and now I've got top 2% because I'm on Asia. That's insane. All right, I'm going to jump in and show you guys the human team, which I actually find a lot more reliable. Um, and I will show you how it works. So um, this is the team we're going to be running. Now, if you do have uh, Jenna instead, you can use Jenna instead of Jillian. Uh, I find it to be a lot more effective because uh, she's a stance cancel on level 1, which is really nice. This team takes a lot more RNG because you don't really have any AoEs, right? Now again, I have HP defense on everyone. HP defense, HP defense, HP defense, HP defense. Then all the links also have HP defense, uh, apart from my allies attack crit, the rest of them do. And then I've got the increase ally, human allies max HP by 7% and decreased damage taken by single target events. The other good thing with this is there's no, um, we've got alts, uh, sorry, uh, attribute advantage on all of them, which is really nice. Uh, Jillian will also uh, increase HP related stats by 30%. Her Holy Relic also means she recovers 20% of her max HP at the start of turn if she takes damage, so it's like a little Tamiol link, which is nice. Uh, and then you've obviously got Green Arthur, the, the free one in the back, who uh, increases the max HP of human allies by 30% as well. So we've got a lot of stat boosts, a lot of HP boosts for HP units and for humans. And then we reduce damage from barn. Um, so again, this is the same team. I found it to be more effective to clear with ultimates just because they're doing a lot more damage. So we'll see how we go and whether we can get some good RNG on this time as well. Um, but that's kind of, anyway, that's the unknown team. That's crazy that I made that work. That's the first time I've been able to make that work. Um, but yeah, that's how you do it with the shell tier. And then obviously you need Freya Relic, Nanashi Relic uh, and Rem as well. Uh, okay, cool. So for this one, all I'm going to do is just throw away these three cards. It's always my first stack. Um, it was nice that we top decked a level 2 Escanor card because this will allow us to one shot. Um, having Escanor is really helpful as well because you can take away her buffs that she keeps applying on herself. Um, so that's really clean as well. Um, this is, you want a level 2 of this card. This is the one that cancels stances. So there we got one, which is nice. So I'll probably merge that. This is a problem. This, this, the stance cancel that you want is the only AoE in the team that you have, right? So what I'll probably do here is I will get rid of that. I will get rid of that. I'm going to see if we can kill here with this. I can't remember if we can. Ideally, I want to use uh, I want to use a, a buff removal, then do it. Uh, let's see. No, okay. So she's gonna full heal, but I'm not super fussed about that to be honest, because I've got another couple of cards, which is good. Um, so I should be able to now remove the debuff, move that, and then finish with that, which is really, which is really nice. So the first phase allows you for a little bit more leeway. Um, this team is not really about high points as much. To be honest, it's more about just clearing it. So if you can do it with the unknown team, it makes your life a lot easier. Um, but otherwise, just do this. So I should be able to do this and then that, and that should... Yeah, 
there's that, and then this should finish because I got the ignites as well as the extra additional stack. Yeah, there we go. There's my 400k damage as well. And we lose our ults going into the next fight, so that's fine. There we go. So again, I'm just going to do pretty much the same thing I did before that. Then I'll just throw away the Jillian cards. Um, so we actually do a bit more damage than you expect to, which is nice. Um, that card, the first card does more. Um, of course, Jillian's there just for the starts cancel and you know, the additional damage. That's really clean. Um, it's nice to get a level 3. So, again, two turn damage cap on the little side guys, or side pieces, or whatever you want to call them. Um, and we're tanking it really nicely. Um, the problem with this team is you kind of want to get it done as fast as possible. You don't really want to hang around too much. Um, because this stance cancel, at least for me, won't kill these guys. So obviously with, um, when you do the stance cancel, um, because this is a stance cancel AOE, so you have to use this to cancel stances, but you, it's not like if you do that, then you've got to kill them each individually and then kill them next turn. So it doesn't work quite as cleanly, but you guys will see what I mean when I'm, when I've done this. So I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this. Like I said, it's just to get cards out of my hand at the moment. Um, because I'm not really focusing on doing damage or anything, I'm just getting them out of the way. And then I want to save my big gold Escanor card for the one shot. Um, it's not ideal that I get ults, but there's not much you can do about that. So here I'm actually going to, um, start, cancel stances. And then I'm going to, um, have to kill each of those guys individually, and then next turn do a big, a big shot, big one shot, right? So you want to time it on the on the turn he does a stance because then it's the second and fourth go of when the guys come back. If you do it on an odd number, they're going to come back the next turn, right? So we're going to do that, and then I'm going to do. Uh, actually, you know, you know what I don't. I want to save one of these buff removes because he's going to have a shield, so that's going to be really helpful for next turn. So I'm going to do one, two, two. Now again, ideally I want to hang around till I get the additional stance cancel but it's an extra 180 points and the timing just isn't great for human team because then you start losing he starts ulting he gets all the shields back you know you don't have the healing the passive healing you do from um Sheltier in terms of keeping everyone alive right so there you go there's another stance but all this his little guys gonna come back then they're gonna have a two turn damage cap you're gonna have to kill them again and it's just not worth it so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do that uh, and then we're gonna do that and then just in case we'll do that but that should be enough to finish it off it's that we finish off here there you go and that's without the the alts as well again you can you can play around with this and then you can take longer and then get rid of the stances and see if your team can survive i just find mine gets way too squishy there's a 5k points anyway even without the the rupture I didn't have more than 70% HP, so that was my fault. I should have done some stuff to heal up Barn a little bit as well. Um, but there, so there's, there's 6.5k points, there's 5k points for two different teams. Hopefully you guys can build one of those. Um, if you can't, you just might have to hang out on the lower levels. Um, these, this final boss is really annoying, to be honest with you guys. Like I said, I'm surprised I got that 6.5k score. But um, anyway, I hope that helps. Sorry it's a bit late life things right um but as always i will catch you guys in the next one thanks heaps